right out of a horror movie. Odd noises all around this area already, and that makes this place super dangerous. There's said to be so many spirits that linger here. Just tell me if the light moves. Oh, it's flickering on and off. My leg went cold downstairs before. Snake alert, Jared. I actually feel like I just got a spike in the magnetic reader here. One of the creepiest rooms here with Jared. That was like a crunch as if someone took a step. You heard that, right? Yeah, I did. Is there someone here? tuning into Amy's Crypt today. We are at Singapore and we are here at a very haunted and abandoned mansion where allegedly a lot of satanic rituals have been conducted. I'm just about to take you inside but be warned this place is super super scary in the dark. It's actually quite dangerous in there as well so get ready it's going to be quite an episode. Tonight we continue to explore the Astana Woodniak Mansion, an abandoned residence hidden in the jungles of Singapore. This mansion earned its reputation as a haunted place after acting as a World War II hospital and seeing some 700 deaths. Add to this rumours that the mansion is cursed due to being a hotbed for dark satanic rituals. It is definitely an interesting location for paranormal investigators. Already tonight, we have picked up on some strange occurrences within the mansion, which you'll find in my part one video. It sounds like a man yelling. I thought you could hear it. That. I heard like a male voice and then some footsteps. And it was just here above the stairs and it moved like really, just slid across the screen really fast like this. There's definitely something in the bushes out there. Now, we venture deeper into the haunted mansion in search of spirits or darker entities. All right guys, so I'm just at the base of the grand staircase here in the main entry hall. And this place has already been quite interesting tonight. If you guys haven't done so already, go check out my part one video. We explore the entire mansion in the day and I go over its history and what makes this place haunted. But we also, which you will see in the part one, just did a spirit box session here which is quite interesting. We've heard a lot of odd noises all around this area already. And also just up here, I sighted during the day even what looks like a basketball size black orb. It was super, super weird. But go check out part one if you want to know more about that. Right now, I'm going to take you upstairs. The staircase is super dangerous. Um, so just bear with me. Now this mansion has been abandoned for quite a long time. In addition, in 2006, it was burnt out. So a lot of the staircase or the different levels, the walls are very damaged and that makes this place super dangerous. As you can see here, this part of the stairs is just crumbling, especially this part here. So I kind of know where to tread that safe. All right, this is one of the upper floors, just surrounded by a beautiful big balcony. And I'm gonna try and reach out here. It seems like an interesting central part of the building that if any spirits are around, they may linger. There's something weird out there. It might be like a distant motorbike. Maybe, yeah. Alright, anyway, in this... Yeah, it's definitely a motorbike. We're kind of in the middle of a jungle, but there are some freeways that run around it, if that makes sense. But we're completely alone out here. It's a pretty crazy spot. I'm going to do a spirit box session to kick things off up here. I'm going to be reaching out in English, reasons being, yes, I am in Singapore, but English is very uh, prevalent here, uh, widely spoken. 
There was also a person who used to live in this house of Scottish descent. I'm going to assume that they spoke English. And I also don't know, there's said to be so many spirits that linger here. There's no way of knowing what language they all spoke. So I'm just going to go with the one that I can actually speak. Hi, my name is Amy. I'm hoping to talk to anyone that may still be in this mansion. Can you please come forward and say hello or introduce yourself to me if you do want to talk? I've had a look around this place today and it's very beautiful. Were you one of the people who used to live, live here? If you didn't live here and you were brought here for another reason, maybe when this place operated as a hospital, could you let me know what that reason was? Are there any patients, doctors or nurses here? What is your name? Are there people who come here to perform satanic rituals? Can you tell me about the rituals? What are you gesturing at? I can see a light on the camera, but I can't see it with my eyes. Where is the light? Just over your left shoulder. It's probably just from the highway in the distance, but I can't see it with my own eyes. Is there someone in this room? Can you come close to me? Are you able to make a light? Just tell me if the light moves. Light's oh, flickering on and off. It's in if the you... distance, sorry. It is? It's in the distance, yeah, but I just I can't see it with my eyes. Maybe if you move a bit closer. Oh, I can see lights out here. I can see them now, but yeah. before I couldn't see them. That's creepy. Yeah, there's definitely, there's a, as I mentioned earlier, there's a freeway or highway out there, so those lights are from that. I thought you meant there was a light in the room. No. Well, I guess we cut that session. I feel like we weren't getting too much through anyway, so we might move to a different area and try something else. Um, but if you guys heard anything, whether it's a word, phrase, Whether you think it's just radio interference and nothing relevant at all, please let me know in the comments. I always love to hear what your opinions are of these. Alright guys, now I think what I'm going to do is just walk around this upper area and give you guys a look at it at night and see if we pick up on any more feelings like that weird cold sensation I got downstairs. Maybe that indicates that a spirit is around. A lot of people do believe that. I'm, I'm still skeptical of it, though I have no idea why I went, my leg went cold downstairs before, but interesting. You guys will see that in part one, by the way. This room had no roof from memory. Yeah, there's nothing up here. There's trees growing in it. And I actually just noticed, um, it kind of looks cool, but also creepy, this graffiti here of this space. It looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Mm. 
I want to go into this area that we were filming in earlier. If I was going to be a bat, I'd be in here, so just be careful. There's still no roof though. So this in here is actually a bathroom area. Oh yeah, I remember that quite well. That we looked at today. Jared may or may not have got in that bathtub. This though, I really like. balcony so if we look back that's inside the house or the mansion and you can see another balcony over this side so I'm guessing maybe this was a bedroom area and this was kind of like a private balcony and I don't know I just feel like if I lived here and that was my bedroom I would be out here all the time it would I'm sure it would have looked a lot different. It wouldn't have just been this dense jungle where you cannot see anything. I'm sure it would have been a lot more clean and maintained and manicured. But I don't know. I just feel like this may have been the nicest spot in the mansion for me. Are there any spirits around? Was this your bedroom? Was this a spot that you liked to come when you were here? Do you still come and visit? There is a weird bird or a bug or something. Down in there somewhere. You guys can probably hear it screeching <laughs> on the camera. So we might leave because I can't really pick up anything while there's a weird bird there. Another upside down cross. Where is it? Out here. Yeah, that's uh, satanic symbols and you know 666 and antichrist symbols everywhere here. And it kind of reinforces those stories and legends that this place was somewhere where cults and satanists and whatnot come to do rituals and worship. So. I don't know if there's truth behind that, but it sure is creepy and seeing those everywhere kind of, yeah, makes the story seem a lot more real. Yeah, this place looks really creepy at night. It has all this shade cloth and tarp on the roof. I guess the roof was all burnt out in that fire in 2006. So that's protecting the staircase a little more I guess and the staircase is probably to me the coolest looking feature in here right, this area during the day kind of freaks me out just as you go in this creepy looking door as well it has this upside down cross and 666 here I've also just heard some noises through here. It could be bats or some other animals in here, but it's weird. Like, let's go look. Is that wise if there's bats? Didn't we learn our lesson at Bukit Tonku? You know I never learned my lesson. Oh, there's a Satan star on the wall too. There's another one, 666, straight ahead front. This one right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's creepy. Deck from a red staircase was too unsafe to uh, go down. There's not really a lot in this room, except spiderwebs. Jess, on the wall. Oh, Jess. I dedicate this to my two good friends, both called Jess. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've had a good look around up here, so I'm going to head back down and maybe try and reach out again. You heard that, right? Yeah, I did. Did you just make a noise? Can you make that again? Shine on that chair. 
Is there someone here? If there's anyone here with us, can you make a noise? Can you tap on the wall or throw something? There's another 666 on the wall there too. You heard that right behind you? I'm sure there's animals out there. Is there someone in this room? Can you make a noise again? It's hard in these places that are outdoorsy and open because any noise or anything that we pick up on the audio here could just be something external. You know what I mean? It's not as such as a controlled environment as if you're inside a building in the quiet. Well, a building that's not missing a roof. Well, yeah, this building doesn't exactly have four walls. <laughs> something moved on the stairs right behind us, but anyway. That was like a crunch as if someone took a step. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it was just like the wood uh, or the leaf falling down on the wood. I don't know. That was odd. Okay. So we have here a 666. Another symbol up here. Another symbol up here. Another symbol up here. Another symbol up here. Oh look, they are watching. They are watching. That's odd. It's, it's probably the grandest staircase we've seen in any of your abandoned house oh, videos. Oh, sure. Look how creepy it looks up there, like with that railing. It actually reminds me of um, the Alamo Draft House in San Francisco. So I used to work at a hundred year old movie palace in San Francisco, guys. And the grand staircase of that place kind of reminds me of this. Like it had all these curly whirlies and it was super pretty, all painted gold. So, I mean, I don't know about much about design and architecture, but maybe they come from the same kind of era or design background, I don't, I don't know. All right, we're gonna go into another room. This is actually Jared's favorite room for some reason. I don't know, he just really likes it. So I think we're gonna go in there and try and reach out um, and see if we pick up on anything there. I guess I like the room because it looks like a ballroom. You think so? Yeah. It's pretty big. We also saw this today. Looks like some kind of deck chair, maybe turned into like an easel even. I don't know, it's odd that that's there. What is kind of sinister about this room is this, yeah. Big ass chain. I don't know what that thing's deal is. All right guys, since this is Jared's favorite room, I'm actually gonna dedicate this investigation segment to him. I'm gonna use a tool that he made. It's called Ghost Tube. It is an app that is available for free on both Apple and Android stores. I'm gonna leave a link below if you wanna grab it for yourself. Um, but I'm gonna bring it up so that we can start a session and look at um, not only EVPs but magnetic readings uh, And it also has a function where it could spit out a word if something changes in the environment around me So I'm just hitting record now This is a ghost tube session Inside what could be a ballroom in this haunted Singapore mansion I actually feel like I just got a spike in the magnetic reader here already. Is there someone around me? Can you come close to me? Come towards the light in my hands to let me know that you're here. We would love to know who you are. 
what your name is. What kind of memories do you have of this house? What year was it when you first came to this mansion? There is a truck in the distance I can hear. I'm just noting that. What is it that keeps you here? What was this room used for? Was it a ball room? Do you remember it as a hospital? Can you tell me something about yourself? I just heard something scratching out there. I footsteps out there. I know it is, but I thought that I had seen someone's face out there looking back at me. I think it was just maybe one of those big leaves, but because you flashed the uh, torch so quickly. Alright guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a crap ton of photos right here where I seen that black orb earlier. I don't actually expect to pick up anything in these photos, but one thing that I'm always told by people when I go out on sort of ghost events is take a lot of photos and never take just one photo. Always snap a few because if you pick up one anomaly in a photo, you can compare it to the rest. And it's odd if it's just in one photo. And I'm just going to try it. Jared's going to light this baby up for me. Should we do it again by the other stairs, the same thing? Like photos of the staircase? Maybe just straight on at the stairs. Hey, big bowl of blackness. You're here. Feel free to fly by any time. Any time now. Hmm. 
to clean my leg. Alright, one more on this side. Oh, look at this. Look into the eye. Looks like blood too. Creepy. That's a creepy eye. Look at all this as well. Holy moly. Hey, electrical cables. Yup. I think they used to be in this. Alright, let's do this. Light me up. Probably without my shadow. Alright, this is your last chance. Don't be shy. Alright, I'm gonna stop that now. I don't know <laughs> if I'm just being silly, but I'm gonna look through all those photos. I'm sure that we probably haven't captured anything. It didn't look like anything was picked up here and it's probably so unlikely that you will ever catch something doing that. But it's something that I always do when I take photos at these haunted spots is never just take one photo. Always take quite a few and I always review my uh, photos after and I use uh, a tool to make them really bright and see, you know, if there's anything lurking in those dark shadows. It's fun. Alright guys, I want to take you into one of the creepiest rooms here and you, if you've seen part one, you might understand, but you'll know why it's so creepy when we get in there. It's going to be seriously weird in the dark too. I'll be on bat alert in here, babe. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we're okay in this one. So this room is just full of all these random tubs here. I don't know why they're here or what their purpose is. I'll just check for bats for you, Jared. Mm, we're good. Now, doesn't this just look right out of a horror movie? Actually, with the torch, I'm lighting it up and I can see a lot more into it. It's like a bloody bath. During, yeah, it looks way more bloody now. During the day, the water actually just looked black. It looks like there's tinsel in there. A log and a cap. Heaps of mozzies or mosquitoes. 666 again. Jar. Fake bloody handprint. Yeah, that's some creepy stuff here. This kind of reminds me of saw one where they're kind of chained up in that bathroom and need to get out like yeah. i can picture being chained up in here somewhere in this corner maybe <laughs> all right so another experimentative thing that i want to do which is i was talking about it earlier with jared about it earlier about it earlier about it earlier about it earlier so like someone right outside that window so Jared believes if ghosts are real, they're more like residual energy. So almost like a memory that's been imprinted in time and is just playing out. So using devices with those kind of hauntings, like say a spirit box, you're not gonna get intelligent responses because they're just living out that moment in time. So he thought, what if you call out and ask questions that would have been encountered during the time. So for instance, this place was run as a hospital, a military hospital during the war. So I'm gonna reach out and it's gonna sound like I'm asking some really random questions, but maybe we'll get a response. So, can you feel that wind? There is a window right there. I feel like it's coming through the door of anywhere. Okay, but here goes. Doctor, are you in here? Where is the patient? What is the diagnosis? Nurse, can you bring me the patient's information? Let's go in this room.
Doctor, are you in here? I need some help. Where is the nurse? I'm not really sure if that was going to work or not, um, but I would love to know you, your theories on ghosts, hauntings. Do you believe? Are you skeptical? Do you think it's probable? Jared and I are both skeptical minded. I actually would love to believe that ghosts exist and that's why I do what I do. I'm trying to look for proof of the paranormal. Have you heard of any far out? Uh, techniques for contacting the dead, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear about all of those. Can you smell that? What? It smells like bad breath. Is it my breath? I don't think it's yours. Maybe it's mine. Maybe. Maybe it's mine. I don't know. It stinks. You know what's weird? Hell. Like, yeah, they say spirits can let off smells. It smells like bad breath, like bad coffee breath. Well, you know, this was like a hospital. Maybe it's something like that. I had a coffee earlier, it's probably if mine. there is someone here with us, can you please come and breathe in Jared's face? <laughs> this isn't working. <laughs> what a random request. If there are ghosts, it's probably like, what the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're pretty weird. All right, guys, we're just wrapping up now in this mansion and I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave because I love it in there. It's really awesome. But also we are walking back through the jungle in the dead of night and it's very scary, overgrown. And I don't know, I just really got a lot of anxiety about it. We had a run in with a big snake recently. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet on my channel, but we are petrified of snakes right now. So. Wish us luck. I'll show you how badly overgrown it looks. Jared is leading the way. Very bravely. Do you want me to follow the exact same path on the Yes, I think that we should. And look at this crap, guys. This isn't even that bad yet. It gets pretty extreme. <laughs> wow, there is a lot of bugs coming out. <laughs> Flying in my face now too. Let's go a slightly different way. Hang on, let's just... Oh, you can't really see much at all. But that's the mansion that we're leaving now. Bye! Let's go the same way. Yeah, I say that we just follow the same path. Oops, I nearly fell over. Oh Alright, I'm gonna stop filming now so I can pay attention. Oh, yep. Here's where it gets gnarly. Go on. See on the other side, guys. At least there is a trail carved out, but. Yeah, but... Gonna feel this. Oh, so that's where we were a bit earlier today. We entered. And now we're leaving. And now we're leaving. <laughs> okay. Now this little <laughs> dip. Now's our little crossing. Go Jared, you got this. <laughs> now I'll probably fall in the ditch. Oh crap. <laughs> All right, now we're going down this creepy ass path of the jungle. All right, we're almost at the road, so it's okay. This is just the, whoa. Yep, the steep bit that I'm gonna slide down. <laughs> This is like the craziest bloody path we've Everything ever taken. Like a snake. A yes, I know. Holy f dooly, what is this? You didn't. Put your finger near it so people can see how big it is. It is like as big as Jared's hand. Look at its head. Oh, wow. It's it, like got a sucker on the front or something. What? Maybe that's a leech. 
Dang. I don't want to find out. I, I don't want him to get eaten by the ants. He's crawling through them. They're attacking him. Go, go, go. Now I'm really sweaty, but we made it. This behind me is the damn jungle that we just trekked through. Super thick, but we found the road and we're all good now. So don't recommend that to anyone. <laughs> so dangerous so scary thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this episode if you did please remember to like comment share and subscribe if you want to do a little bit more reading on this haunted location or others that i have visited head to amyscrypt.com you guys can also find me at amyscrypt on facebook twitter and instagram until next time